everyone I hope you're well today I'm gonna to be showing you how I prepare my marinated pan fried chicken as well as my pan fried brown rice so this is a special request from my mom we've just finished our 21 days Daniel fast and 21 day um, challenge and we haven't been eating any meat or junk food for 21 days so she woke up this morning and she was like, please, 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 I'm really feeling for your marinated pan fried chicken and pan fried brown rice. Please, can you make it for us? So that's what's on our lunch menu for today. Please stay tuned, stick around, comment, um, share this video. Let us know what you think about our recipes and the way we prepare our food. Okay, so I've got my chicken that I've de-skinned, cut up and rinsed. To season, I've got two tablespoons of wet masala, one tablespoon of jeera or cumin powder, half a tablespoon of turmeric or haradi powder, one tablespoon of garam masala, and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon powder. I've got some salted, softened butter that I'm going to braise the chicken in. I've got some fresh thyme that I've rinsed and I'm going to be grating my garlic and fresh ginger and seasoning with some pink Himalayan salt, brown black pepper and a bit of extra virgin olive oil. Now that I've yeah. grated my fresh ginger and garlic, I can start with my marinade. I love to cook with ginger and garlic. It's so fragrant. It gives the food a nice flavor. It also has amazing health and medicinal benefits. So on almost all of my dishes, whether it's vegetarian dishes or chicken or fish or meat dishes, I always use ginger and garlic and my staple is fresh thyme. It's just so aromatic. Okay, so let's begin with the marinade. I'm gonna start by pouring some olive oil over my chicken about two tablespoons then I'm going to season with pink Himalayan salt okay. next I'm going to add my ginger garlic and fresh thyme marinades are really simple it's just a matter of putting all the ingredients into a dish or over the meat or the, the vegetables that you're cooking and marinating my dry spices as mentioned before it's wet masala jeera powder turmeric powder garam masala and some cinnamon powder and it goes And now I'm going to mix with my hands. Okay. You want to make sure that you coat the chicken on all sides and ensure that all of the spices have infused with the meat. Now that my chicken has marinated and mixed well through, I'm going to let it rest for half an hour in the fridge before I pan fry it. My chicken's been resting for half an hour and I'm ready to cook it. So I'm going to melt two tablespoons of softened salted butter. Next, I'm going to add my chicken. So all the water is coming out of the chicken. That's a good sign. It's cooking down and reducing. 
I'll turn it over once all of the water has dried up. Now I'm going to show you how I prepare my fried rice. I know at the beginning of this video I told you that I was going to be making brown basmati rice but after checking in the cupboard I realized that I don't have enough brown basmati rice so I opted for normal white rice which I've been soaking in boiling water for about half an hour. All you're going to need for this dish is half an onion finely chopped, some grated ginger and garlic, fresh thyme and some curry leaf, a tablespoon of wet masala, a teaspoon of garam masala, a teaspoon of turmeric or harvi powder, a teaspoon of jeera or cumin powder, some salt and pepper to taste and some extra virgin olive oil. You can also add some bay leaf or green cardamom also known as elaichi to the pan which I will add when I pour my oil in. The trick to this dish is to always have half a kettle of boiled water because as your rice is braising you're going to gradually add boiling water to it. I'll show you. You're going to need extra olive oil for this dish, about five tablespoons. I'm going to add my bay leaf. I don't like to use whole cardamom or elaichi. Instead I use organic cardamom powder. Just a little bit. It's got such a nice fragrance to it. It gives the food a special kind of taste and it's used for most rice dishes. Next I'm going to add my onion, garlic, ginger, thyme and curry leaf to the pan. I'm going to let this simmer for about two minutes. The water is all dried up, so I'm going to turn my chicken around so that it can braise on the other side. Okay, it's cooked through nicely, it's browned up nicely. I like the way this chicken's looking. You can see that the water's dried up. This is just the oil and the butter. Looks great. Okay, it's cooked through. So my onion, garlic and ginger mixture has been sautéing for two minutes. Now I'm going to add my dry spices. Okay. I'll let this braise for about 30 seconds. Now I'm going to add my rice. And just give it a mix. You want to really mix all those spices. Like so. Okay, so to this, I'm going to add a little bit, like probably about two tablespoons of boiling water. The trick is that you cook this on low with the lid with a little bit of boiling water at a time. The water has dried up. I'm going to add a bit of olive oil from the top. Like that. And allow the rice to fry for about two to three minutes. Then I'm going to add a bit of boiling water. And I'm going to repeat this until my rice has cooked through. I've used some frozen green broccoli. I always like to incorporate some greens to my dishes, whether it's fried rice or a meat dish, whatever it is. 
Um, fresh veggies are always the better option, but if you don't have any, frozen broccoli is just as good. I'm putting the rice over the broccoli because I want it to defrost. Um, I was actually supposed to have taken this out earlier to defrost, but anyway, it's never too late. As I was saying, frozen veggies are just as good. I mean, the, the, the fresh option is always the healthier and better option. But what I find is that when I buy a whole lot of fresh veggies, they go bad. So frozen veggies is okay for me. Chicken has fried through on both sides. It's soft and crispy. Oh, I've got some steam on my glass. It's cooked through and ready. What I like about cooking a quantity like this is that I can actually meal prep for the week. So with this chicken, I can make a salad, I can do a toasted sandwich, a wrap, or even a pasta dish. It's just so versatile and efficient. So there you have it, my broccoli fried rice, pan fried chicken, and a cucumber and onion salad with plain yogurt dressing, an ideal meal for a Sunday lunch. So healthy, so nutritious, well balanced. I can't wait to dig in. I'm sure my mom's gonna be very happy. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video and the recipe. If you'd like the full recipe, please comment below on this video or follow us on Facebook at Calix Kids Store. Um, also, please subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos, more tasty and delicious videos, as well as some food hacks, some healthy meal plan ideas, and just to generally see what we're all about. This is my personal vlog. Um, for those of you that are watching for the first time, it's a lifestyle blog based on my life as well as the services that I provide, the product offerings that we have, and tips and hacks that I have as a stay-at-home mom to other stay-at-home moms and single moms. Don't forget to subscribe.